Sir Edward. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I I'm speaking from Lincolnshire, the breadbasket of England, a prosperous county, but in the era of free trade, world free trade before the Second World War, you could walk on derelict farms from Lincoln to Grimsby. So can the minister assure me that this free trade deal with Australia, which I welcome, will ensure a bright future for our farmers and there will be no relaxation of our high quality standards and no imports of mass produced wheat, which could undercut our farmers. Let's go across to the minister. Minister. Uh, well, I thank my honourable friend uh, for that question. And he's quite right to point to the brilliance of the Lincolnshire farmers and their uh, industry in helping uh, both feed this country and also to export. Uh, we have been absolutely clear that there'll be no compromise in our standards on food safety, animal welfare and the environment when it comes to trade deals. Uh, and I agree with him. There's an opportunity here uh, for Lincolnshire to be exporting more. We've secured more access last week in the Norway, Iceland and Liechtenstein deal. We're looking forward to joining CPTPP, which has big opportunities for UK agriculture and future free trade agreements going forward. 